Hey you guys, I know you see this story. This is so heartbreaking. I really truly don't know what's going on with people today. You have this woman here that had two twin children. Maybe not twins, but she had two children. And this woman, Eureka Black, they um, took a mugshot of her and I showed it to you in the beginning. This woman is charged with multiple felonies she took and threw her children you guys through her kids one of the kids passed away but one of them survived they said um, new, from the New Orleans affiliate news she's 32 she's charged with one count of second degree murder for the death of her infant son and one account of attempted second degree murder and um the other child is five years old and that child survived i just don't know what was in her mind that she felt like she had to kill her children this stuff right here has been going on too long every time i look at a news report i see that a parent has done something to kill their kid or the boyfriend of a girlfriend decided to killed their kid i just don't understand why this is continuing to go on these people really need psychiatric evaluation you know because you taking your anger your frustration out if you don't want to live go ahead you can go ahead and take your own life but don't make a decision about your child and decide to throw your child over a bridge and kill them and then you sitting here looking like nothing's happening so i'm sure at some point in this story you guys i'm pretty sure at some point they're going to try to claim that she had a mental illness and maybe as they said in other stories that the family noticed that she had odd and strange behavior but my problem with that is if you are recognizing that your family member is showing odd strange behavior and the children could be at risk why are you not stepping in and trying to intervene and see if you could possibly get that person some help because it always ends badly when you say well you know when she was with us last week we noticed that she was kind of erratic she was doing this and she was doing that okay if you notice that i i say that the the family member that will come out and, and say well she was acting strange I really feel like they should hold them accountable as well because if you know this is not that person's normal behavior if you feel that that person may be on some type of narcotic if you feel like that child may end up being injured in some type of way why not just say you know what let me take the child can, can I babysit can I watch over the kids for a minute and find out and do your own evaluation even if you have to send someone with you to sit down with that individual and say you know what is something going on with you how are you feeling are you stressed out do you need help but now today a lot of people will see something happen and they'll keep right on about their business and say oh I don't want to get involved but as soon as a tragedy happens they want to be all up in the camera they want to be all on the paper to giving their opinion on what they thought was going on but you did nothing to step in you did nothing to try to intervene you did nothing to try to see if these kids were in danger you did nothing to see if this person was having a psychiatric breakdown you did nothing to see if this person was overly stressed you did nothing to check and see if these kids were living in an abusive situation you did absolutely nothing you were careless about the whole situation you looked at it and thought nothing of it you should have taking the time i'm talking to the people that always come out and say something about oh she was acting kind of weird i'm not talking to her i'm saying this is beginning to become like a fad where people are 
purposely hurting children. Recently there was a story where a guy killed a two-year-old kid and people were saying, oh, the mother and father got into an argument. Oh, the boyfriend said this. Oh, the boyfriend made threats. Oh, this. Oh, that. I'm tired of the oh, this. I'm tired of the oh, that. Stop allowing your eyes and your ears and your heart to know that something is definitely wrong in this situation you have to come to the rescue of these kids children cannot fight an adult children are not strong enough to go up against an adult children are are what they are children and we are adults why can't we look deeper and not just assume but pay attention Pay attention to the child. If the child is saying things like, my mom did this and my mom did that, you can ask questions without leading to, you know, speculation, but you can ask questions and find out what's going on in the household. You can ask questions without being intrusive. You know, I, I wouldn't sit here and know that a kid lives next door to me is being mistreated and not try to step in. I wouldn't do that. If I saw the parents snatching the kid, beating the kid, smacking the kid upside his head, doing something that I know that is not right, that's going to give me a sign to let me know that there's something unstable going on in that home. And attention needs to be brought forward. So if you have to intervene and call child services, if you have to intervene and call the police, you do that because you could be saving a child's life and you don't even know it. You know, these kids are so innocent. A five-year-old, you just pick these kids up like they were garbage and you just toss them and threw them. You know, thank God that one of the policemen were able to recover the, one of the children. You know, but it's unfortunate that the other child, you know, passed away. What is wrong with people today? There is an attack against these children. I've said it time and time again. I've said this over and over again. I am going to try my best to follow this story because I think this is a travesty, you guys. This is horrible. This is insane. And this is my heart speaking. This is my these are my opinions. And as I'm talking, I know you see the storyline going. There are multiple agencies that are involved at this moment. But what happened to the call before? Now you have to call multiple agencies on the death of one child that did not even need to die. I say that whoever the adults were around her, they dropped the ball. They dropped the ball on these kids. If there's no man in the house, if they were visiting their dad, if their dad wasn't around, if someone was around, you dropped the ball on these babies. And these babies' lives depended on you, and you saw nothing. You paid attention to nothing. Whoever looks at this story and you happen to be a family member, you happen to be a friend, you happen to be an associate, you happen to be anybody that was connected with this woman and these children, and you saw signs and you said absolutely nothing. I personally, myself, and my opinion may mean absolutely nothing. My feelings may mean absolutely nothing to you. But I personally hold you accountable as well. Because this whole situation could have been avoided. Had you stepped up, spoke up, said something to her, removed the kids for safety purposes. You could have done something. Not just sit there and watch it happen. I can't sit there and watch somebody slap a child for no reason because you're mad. That's unheard of. That's unheard of. And a lot of people tell you, you should mind your business. No, that is your business. If they're bold enough to harm their kids or inflict unwanted and unjust pain on their children in front of you, that shows lack of respect for you and that shows no self-control for them. And that shows you that those children could possibly be in danger. And I know that you guys are probably saying, wow, together is on one. Yes, I'm on one today. I am absolutely on one today because this has been going on too long. And these kids are not even having a fighting chance.
You have millions of people out here that have problems conceiving children, that wish that they can bear children. Husbands and wives wish that they can have a child. And then we have these people that can have kids at the drop of a dime. And what happens? They have these kids and they toss them aside like nothing. There's nothing in the world that's so upsetting that you have to kill or attempt to kill a child. If you know that you have anger issues, if you know that you have self-control problems, if you know that you have an issue where you'll snap in a minute, you don't need to be around anything or anybody, not even a dog deserves to be around you. And then you sit here and you take this mug shot and you have no expression on your face. I thank God I'm not a police officer because if I was the police officer that had to take her mug shot, I probably would not have a job today. I probably would have leaped across that table and gave her a 10 piece real fast. I really think I would have. Innocent children. I know that children can be a bit much, but if you don't think that you're the type that can handle having kids, then you don't need to have them. And then you sit here and you beat up on them like a big old punk. Or you just throw them away like trash. I say if you have an anger problem, you don't need to have children. Don't have them because you look good being a mother, but you don't know how to be a mother. You don't know the first thing about being a mother. You don't know how to take care of responsibilities. And these men, you're laying down with all these women. You have no clue what these women are like. You're just happy to get a piece. Now you got a child and you're leaving the child with a woman that you have no clue what she's like when she gets angry. When she gets stressed. You have no clue. You didn't take the time. And that goes for the women as well. You put your kids around these people, around these men, that you have no clue on what their mentality is. They such hardcore thugs, they get mad and shoot your kid for overflowing the toilet. They, they shoot your kid for the stupidest stuff. You kill your kid as a mother over a stupid memory card. It was a story I did. Over a freaking memory card something that you probably misplaced yourself but you kill your kids if you got that much anger you need to walk away and don't come back until you calm down you don't need to inflict that kind of pain you don't need to conflict these kids with that type of justice I I'm inflict you guys I'm sorry I'm just really upset right now I'm really angry I know I may not get a lot of views, but it's okay. To whomever hear this, this needs to be shared. Because this is my real heart coming out. Leave these kids alone. Stop punking these kids. Stop bullying these kids. Stop abusing these kids. Stop sexually assaulting these kids. Stop with the madness. If I had my way, they better be glad I'm not God. Because it will be a lot of people out here in this world that will never have a child. And these children wouldn't have to deal with this horrific violence. So you guys, I'm sorry. I'm just being real. And I'm going to try to learn how to go live. I'm working with a couple of programs. And I'm still trying to get the gist of it. Because I want to go live with you guys. And talk to you guys one on one. So we can have feedback. But for now, this is the best that I could do. You guys, I thank you so very much. For being a part of the chain breaking family. I thank you so much for being patient with me. I just really thank you guys a lot. Because you know what? You didn't have to come to my channel. You did. I appreciate it. Air Force 5 again. I thank you for the stories. I thank you for looking out and sending those stories to me. Anybody else if you want to. You can send me stories. And I'd appreciate it. But um. Yeah. Th this right here. This kind of really set me off when I saw this. I was really angry. I was really outraged. I kind of cried a little bit because the attack on these children is becoming too frequent. It's, it's almost like it's the thing to do. 
and I'm understanding the a legal system just a little bit. I understand a little bit. But when you tell a police, hey, this parent whipped their child, or not like a regular spanking, like spare the rod, spoil the child, like this parent, parent like beat their kid up, socked their kid, threw their kid down the stairs, and the, and the system lets that mother or that father have that kid back. The next outcome could be a terrible outcome. They need to use their heads. There's families out there that want children. And you discard these kids like rag dolls. You guys, I, I, I think I've said enough right now because I'm still kind of hurt behind the story. Not only this story, it's been multiple stories. I've seen several other stories about children being harmed or killed by their parent or an adult. And I just, I, I can't do these stories back to back. I have to space these things out. And, and if I don't do an update, forgive me. Because like I said, this is really, really touchy. This is really, really hard because these are babies. You know, in California out here, we still have two toddler boys, Orin and Orson West, still missing as of December the 20th, uh, 20, 20 something, no, 19th of 2020. And here we're embarking up on a whole year just about. And the uh, foster parents are not in jail. There's been no arrest of any sort. And nobody's talking and you have those few out there that's still trying to put the pieces together and find the trail I just pray that those kids are alive and that they will come home that they will find those kids that so much pressure is put on that these kids will be returned not to the family and not to the foster family but that these kids will be returned and they will get some serious counseling psychological help because we don't know what these children have gone through or have been through so you guys with that being said i just want to thank everyday shenanigans because she's always putting out extremely good content and slime we trust has amazing content so you guys you know what i, I think i need to go ahead and, and call it a day because I don't want to keep dragging this story on because I just really want to shake this shit out of this Eureka woman excuse my language but that's exactly what I mean so you guys until next time you take care and you guys look after your younger siblings if you see anything or suspect anything you guys please do not hesitate to step up and rescue your family members the children that is because they can't do it themselves their lives may very well depend on you but until next time don't forget to hit that like button that post notification bell you guys and by all means don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will definitely talk to you guys in the next video and please remember be safe bye bye